to insert for the word of God. Moi itia next week la program pui do Faith Ministry Nagaland 19 September 2021 time hole do 7 pm speaker Reverend Palevi Leyongo Victory Church of All Nation Kohima I highlight a brief introduction about him Dr Hovitol Sotu is a renowned person a true man of God who served in church not only that he is a man of simplicity compassion integrity and self discipline he achieved many milestones that contributed a lot to the naga society churches as well as in the field of music he is serving as a project director for tax force for music and arts he is a naga educationist and a motivational speaker he is closely monitoring trainings in nagaland service rule disciplinary rules human rights leadership issues on duties and citizens and rights welfare with people with disability and so on according to dr sotu the youth are the real assets of the society he is not less than an inspiration for the naga people his life is inspiration for us sir you can kindly take your time hello good evening everyone good evening greetings good evening. <clears throat> greetings to you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ i'm so happy that uh, you a group of uh, people have been having this uh, this program to strengthen yourself and to live according to god will i'm also grateful to I send off for getting through and uh, you know asking me to share some of my thoughts and uh, the word of god with you all this evening and therefore my dear friends this evening uh, i'd like to share with you all on the topic have a desire to live your life in obedience to god now my dear friends Let us all look uh, to go, uh, to God through Psalms number one. Psalms number one says, "Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers." but his delight is in the law of the lord and on his law he meditates day and night he is like a tree planted by the streams of water which yields its fruits in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever he does prospers well my dear brothers and sisters in christ this is what the psalmist says about a man who wishes or who lives his life in obedience of god how many of us my dear friends live our life according to what the lord wants and not according to what we want my dear brothers and sisters how many of us go to churches because we want to be with god and not because someone tells us to go or how many of us go to the church how many of us do the will of god because we want to do and not because we want to please someone or the other how many of us follow the youth programs of the church because we want to do it for god not because someone has told us to do or to be there how many of us obey our parents because we want to obey 
and not because we have to be because they are our parents. My dear friends, this evening, taking a short time, I, I will be telling a few things why we have to God's will. The first of all, I would like to let you all develop the desire to live in God's will. The desire to, to obey. Someone tells you to do, but because you want, I want to. It is he and he alone that can save us. Therefore, keeping this in mind, let us, first of all, develop the desire to live for him. Let us develop the desire deep within our hearts to live for him because he is all in all. Because he is our, because he is our creator, because he is the one who he is himself. He said, I am who I am, isn't it? So, he is who he is. Therefore, let us want, let us uh, have the desire in us to live for him because he is he. Now, my dear friends, obedience, the desire to live our life in obedience to God. If we talk about uh, the word uh, obedience, if we talk about the uh, meaning of obedience, Obedience is doing something that is commanded or to call commanded or obeying orders. Okay, obeying orders. So let keep giving keeping these two words clear. We will continue. What will happen if we don't obey? Surely, my dear brothers and sisters, if we don't obey. The, the rewards, the punishments that will follow are many, and surely, you know, you know, you already know. At the end of the day, it will be, you know, hell for us. The, and if we obey, what will happen? If we obey, if we have the desire to live our life, and if we obey, what will happen? Surely, you know very well that if we obey, there will be rewards, rewards, and rewards for us all. And what are those rewards? I would like to, you know, share with you a few of those rewards. The world is so so competitive now. And you know, my dear brothers and sisters, it is not just competitive in the worldly aspect, but even in the spiritual aspect. Many people, many people are living their life for Christ into, because they want to obey Christ, because they want to live for Christ. And many of you, my dear brothers and sisters, you belong to that category. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, this competition, this competition to do good and to live our life for Christ is growing every, every day. Therefore, as we continue our lives, let us keep this in mind. Competition is not only in the worldly aspects, but competition is also there now in the spiritual realm too. Many people are, are, are coming, coming back to the Lord because they realize that it is only through God, it is only through Jesus Christ that uh, we can have our future. Why do we need to follow Jesus, why do we need to live our life in obedience to Christ, to God? A renowned speaker said, 
follow someone who can overcome the grief. Someday or the other, I'm sure many of you are young people who are here, but surely not any other God the world worships. Surely not any other God that the world worships. It is the God whom we worship. It is, all. It is Jesus, the Son of God. It is God himself. So it is important that we as human beings, as Christians, as here in this world, it is uh, just important, just justified that we obey, that we follow someone who take us out of the grave and give us eternal life. Therefore, my dear friends, this is the main, the one, the main reason why we ought to live in of God. And if we obey God, what are the rewards that, that will come our way? What are the things that will come our way? The fruit rewards of living in obedience of God are, number one, surely it is everlasting life. John 3.16 tells us of that, isn't it? John 3.16 tells us about that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Well, you all know that, and I'm not going to stress on that. The second is, yes, the joy, uh, the joy that we get in obeying Jesus and we remaining in his love. Even in this early, uh, early family, the main love of our parents, the love of our mother, the love of our father, well, that is the happiest thing that we all want to happen, isn't it, on this earth? Likewise, if in the heavenly world, if we, re, we, if we obey, remain in obedience of uh, Jesus Christ, of, of God, well, we will remain in his love. We will remain in his love. Next is, we will, you know, uh, and then we remaining in his love. You can get that in John chapter 15, verses 10 to 17, if you read through that. And you know, my dear friends, the next, the next is the rewards. What are the rewards Starts of obedience? The rewards of obedience, you can, you can uh, know. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13 talks about that. But he who respects a command is rewarded. Yes, is rewarded. So you can keep that into that too. You will be rewarded while on this earth, and you will also be rewarded in heaven. You will be rewarded on earth, and you will also be rewarded in heaven. The next is, you will be blessed. You will be blessed, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. If you live your life in obedience of Christ, you will be blessed. My dear brothers and sisters, Luke chapter 11, verse 28 talks about that. If you live in, in obedience of Christ, if you live in obedience of the Lord, you will be blessed. The next is all the blessings and favors rest on the person who obeys. That's what the Bible says. Psalms chapter, Psalms number one, verses 19 around that talks about. If you read of Christ, if you live your life in obedience of God, then you will all the blessings and all the fears will follow you on earth as well as in heaven. So let us keep that in mind too. And if you live your life in obedience of Christ, well, the Bible says. 
peace will flow like a river. Mm. Isaiah chapter 48 verses 17 to 19 talks about that. If you live your life in obedience of Christ, you will have peace. You have peace, which will flow in you like a river. Righteousness will, will be like waves of the sea. And uh, your descendants will be like the sand on the seashore. And your brothers and sisters, those are some of the rewards that there if you live your life in obedience of Christ, if you live your life in obedience of Christ, those are the rewards that you will get. And many, many more, and many, many more, the Lord will surely reward you with many, many more blessings. Therefore, therefore today, today, as we talk about living our life in obedience, knowing all those rewards that are there for us, let us live our lives in this world according to His will. You may be a you may be a student, you may be a youth, you may be a businessman, you may be a government servant, you may be a private employee, you may be someone who is still looking for a job. Or you may be someone who is just at home, who at home doing the works of the family. Whatever, whatever you are, the challenges, the earthly, the worldly challenges always comes our way. Therefore, it is very, very important that we live our life according to His will. Temptations are always there. Temptations will always come our way, and. Uh, it is, it is also said that those who, those who have strong faith in Christ also face stronger temptations. Therefore, in this world, there is a, there a, surely there will be always temptations from Satan. And we all prayed this, this evening, we all prayed in the beginning, we chastised the Satan. And, uh, you know, we started our program. Well, my dear friends, in all our lives, in whatever we do, it is very, very important. In order to live in obedience of Christ, it is very important that we get rid of Satan in our lives. As young people, the worldly pleasures surely will tempt you. It is your duty as a, uh, uh, as a children of Christ. It is your duty to chase away those uh, the, the worldly pleasures that come and tempt you. It is uh, your, your, your responsibility to run away from the temptations of corruption in our society. It is uh, your duty to keep yourself away from telling lies. It is your duty and my duty to See to it that we don't tempt other people so that uh, they also don't uh, fall into temptation. It is your duty and my duty as, uh, as a person who has received Jesus Christ as his or her personal savior. It is our duty to see to it that our friends and our family also take care. They, they also don't fall into temptation. It is our duty to minister into, uh, to, to those people who have not received Jesus Christ as their personal savior. And it is our, your duty and my duty to see to it that everyone who has not heard of Christ, everyone who has not listened to the word of God, get an opportunity to listen to the word of God through you and through me. My dear brothers and sisters, the world is living, we are living in this world, which is uh, below, very fast paced, very fast paced. And we are living in, a, in such a time where, you know, the pandemic has taken a toll of all of us. 
Many of you must have lost uh, your dear and near ones too. Like me, I've also lost, lost some of my dear and near ones to this COVID. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, at this time, when we are facing all these challenges, and when we are commanded to live in obedience of God, what can be your role and what can be my role? Well, my dear brothers and sisters, can we be, can you be, can I be the source of peace for other people? Jesus will surely command you, if he, he comes personally, he will surely give, command us to go and be a blessing for the downtrodden, to be a blessing for those people who are suffering, for those people who are in need. Jesus will command us to do that today if he comes life to us. Therefore, let us be, let us obey him, let us move out in a, from our comfort zones and let us do whatever we can to make this world a better place to live in the name of Christ Jesus. I personally don't know any of you except Al, but uh, because of Christ, you all have become my brothers and sisters. And because of Christ, we have um, a family. When we have, therefore, we have a common burden, a burden to share the good news to all those people who are not, uh, who are yet to know Christ. Therefore, wherever you are, wherever we are, wherever all of us are, let us play our part. It is the, the great commission, the great commission tells us all, go into all the world, proclaim the name, my name to all the world. That's what uh, the great commission has, uh, the, the, the great commission tells us, is it? Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, we may not be able to baptize them if we, we are not commissioned people, but Jesus Christ has given us the authority to go and proclaim the good news to all the world. Our own people, Naga people, there are many Naga people who are yet to know Christ. Let us uh, obey him. Let us live in obedience of Christ and uh, go and... Uh, and um, go and um, you know minister to them. Let us mini come, come, Let us minister to these non-locals who are, who are there in our place in Nagaland. That we can all do. That we can all do is live our life Christ-like. Live our lives Christ-like, so that. See us doing whatever, we'll know that we are different because of Christ. So that when they see us living our life, doing our work, listening to us speaking, they will also believe, they will also see us that we are different and they will then, then know our Christ through our living. I believe in walking the talk. There are many, many who are doing that and we are happy for them, proud of them. Tonight, as we talk about living our life in obedience of Christ, let us all commit ourselves to live our life according to his will. Let us walk what we talk. Let us read our Bible. Live our life according to what the Bible says. Share what is written there. And live what is written there. Walking the talk is the call of the day. May the Lord bless us all so that as we move out from here, as we move out to the outside world to Live our life in this world. 
we will live our life in accordance to what the Lord wants us to live. In accordance to what the Bible says, let us live our lives Christ-like. God bless you all. Thank you once again for giving me this opportunity to share a few words of God with you. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Dr. Hovit also too, for the valuable advice and for being such a great example of living a faith of life. May God bless you and your works. <clears throat> uh, I now um, request to our speaker to kindly pray for all our online members. Okay. Great. Okay, let us all look to God in prayer. God our Father in heaven, we thank you for uh, the lives of all our online members here. The online members who have been, uh, you know, coming together to strengthen each other, to listen to your word, and to live their lives according to thy will. Lord, I pray for them. Give them good health. Give them, uh, give, give them uh, the, the, the power to overcome all the, all, all, all the bad things that will come our way on this earth. Give them their wisdom. Give them the wisdom that flows through you from heaven. Lord, give them the wisdom so that they will live their life according to thy will. Whatever they do will be according to thy will. Bless their parents. Bless the bless the bless the bless the bless the brothers and sisters and bless their family so that as they live their life according to thy will, so that as they live according to so that they live their life in line with what you have told us to do. Lord, I also pray for all those people who could not join this evening. Bless them, touch them, so that they too can join in the coming days to strengthen each other and to strengthen, the, strengthen their faith and live their lives according to thy will. Lord, I place all the online members into your loving care. In Jesus' name, I pray for all of them. Amen. Um, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I request uh, during our mass prayer, requesting uh, everyone not to keep two devices, that is, phone or laptop in a room, as we are facing issues when we unmute our devices. Uh, prayer request Ahinase Tomoe Puidu. Number one, uh, Lim Kai, prayer for upcoming NPC exam and for good health. Debendra Nayak, for good health uh, reason, diabetic patient. Bonti, Bapu, and Happy, need prayer to get job. Father George, prayer for good health reason, diabetic patient and backache. Sister Sujani, Prayer for good health, reason, back ache and high pressure. Isaac and Sandy, prayer to get child, reason, childless for five years. Sister Sugani, prayer for peace in the family and forgiveness, reason, no forgiveness in the family. Sister Mercy, good health, uh, oper reason, operated knees. Father Tommy, uh, prayer for good health, reason, diabetic patient. Sujata, need prayer for peace in the family and good health. Sister, Sister of Providence Congregation, need prayer for need prayer for problem of the community. Kulamoni, prayer for good health, reason, backache, nerve problem. Ludru Provish Parish, uh, Prayer to have faith, reason, going away from God. Father Dibato Pani, prayer for good health, reason, kidney failure. Jini, reason for good health and for her two children. Uh, and for her two children, children study and to get job. Dipu, prayer for the, to settle his life, reason to get job. Sister Lisi, prayer for healing her sister-in-law, reason, in the hospital, COVID-19. 
one of our teacher family. Prayer for peace in the family, reason, father and brother also drinking addiction, drinking addiction. Gora Chandra Nayak, prayer for good, good of wife, peace, reason, misunderstanding in the family. Rashmi, family need blessing, reason, study for children. And Sonjoy, for marriage, reason to get a good wife. Atsole, prayer for husband's health, recovery. He's a semi-stroke patient. Please pray for his recovery and long life. Renla Mo Yantan, pray for his sister Tungbeni and his friend, sister Atrol. Some dead spirit are disturbing my sister as well as she is struggling from black magic done in her last time by some people. And for my friend's sister, she is also struggling from black magic on difficulties in breathing down on her. Kindly unmute your speaker so that we can pray together. Spirit, touch all these people who are needing your touch, your blessings. Help them, touch them, and heal them. Give them the relief they want in this worldly earth. Lord, as we end our program, Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us. And as we go our way, let our lives be a blessing to all our family. For all these prayers, we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now we have come to the end of the program. Let's all give thanks to God, uh, remembering our family, COVID patient, uh, for the next coming program, and as well for, uh, for Afghanistan. Let's all remember all the prayer points and pray together.
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for bringing us. Lord Jesus, we are here today, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray that you are blessing you. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord for joining Thank you everyone for joining